Hey everybody, it's Tani Seren. Hello, I'm Delilah. And we're here with Naughty Betty's. Today we are going to talk about bringing up BDSM. Mm -hmm. So introducing mm -hmm. the subject, how do you talk about it? How do you kind of introduce? Explore. Yeah. I'd say definitely like try it out by yourself first. Just trying to like see like what you like. You might you you might be interested in impact play and spanks and things like that, but realize that you don't like the sting. It's yep. totally a thing. There's a difference between thuddy uh, impact play and stingy impact play. And so how can something. you kind of like explore it solo before like bringing just oh, kind of, is that as simple as like kind of spanking yourself? Oh, absolutely. Like, like, yes. I, I was uh, really afraid of pussy spanks yes. for a while. So that was something that I practiced by myself before I was like, hey, partner of mine. Yeah. yeah you can give that a pat. Because it's fun. When you explore stuff by yourself, you're easily able to articulate what you mm -hmm. want from your partner mm -hmm. and you can do that. So if it's a little bit nerve wracking to just ask them like, yeah. hey, we want to bring this yeah. in. You can do some solo play by Absolutely. yourself. Have fun. Um, there's also a lot of different toys that, um, I mean, as we know, like everything is, there's a lot of toys catered to BDSM. It's really easy to grab a toy like a spanker and bring it in and know that it's like not as intense as maybe yeah. like some of the other ones. Uh, you yeah. go to like do some research and watch these like hardcore BDSM videos and yes. like that is intimidating. Yeah, and somebody wow. might just watch that for the first time and think oh, that's gosh. what BDSM yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> it's whatever your little heart desires yes. really. Like there's just so many different flavors. It's fantastic Ooh. really. And so how if you've tried it solo and you've checked out some kind of low key toy that aren't going to be too intimidating, how then do you discuss it with your partner? Oh man, Ooh. I, so my partner and I have always really had like an open communication and we've always said like the hardest conversations are the ones that need to be had. So like when we started talking about like what was not working in the bedroom, yeah. we were like, we want to try to like explore other things. So we kind of brainstormed and just, it's, it's all about open communication. Just like, this is what I like. This mm -hmm. is, yeah. yeah. Or I was thinking yeah. about maybe trying this, or I saw this in a video. Yeah. So what do you think? Um, I also recommend, uh, if you are comfortable watching porn with your partner, starting to watch porn with more impact play, Absolutely. start associating that visualization mm -hmm. of BDSM mm -hmm. with pleasure that you guys are already getting from each other. Like that can be a great segue That's, yeah, into it. it. Fantastic. Idea. Yeah. But if you are not comfortable watching porn with your partner, um, um, still you should be comfortable to be able to you know, bring it up in a conversation. Yeah. And I also think baby steps can be taken. You don't have to oh, just absolutely. go, I want to have a BDSM yeah. lifestyle. Yeah, right. like, like, we're not going to go from very vanilla to you are now my slave. Exactly. Yeah. There's, there's a whole lot of a variation steps. in between there. Yeah, like you could bring up that, hey, I found that I kind of enjoy spanking. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about mm -hmm. spanking? You don't even have to label it BDSM. Yeah. Like there's like, no point. Yeah. I thought about what if I blindfolded you or you could yes. blindfold me. Like yeah. sensory play is one of my favorite kinds of BDSM and it yes. started off with a blindfold and that was it. It's super not intimidating at all. Like, and I feel like blindfolds are mainstream enough that it's yeah. not like yeah. a taboo thing to bring in handcuffs or a blindfold. Yeah, I mean absolutely. they're everywhere and right. stuff. Yeah. So have the discussion, take baby steps, perhaps watch some porn with your partner to kind of integrate it. Um, I would also say educate yourself on it. Like yes. understand what it is. Read articles about it. Enjoy mm -hmm. that with your partner. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to be introducing it as part of the bedroom. You can be like, I learned this cool fact about yeah. BDSM. Let's yeah. read about it. And it might just kind of entice yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. It'd be really fun. So we wish you the best on your BDSM journey and yes. bringing that into the bedroom with your partner. Grab your spankers. Grab oh your discussions. Gosh. Get your ticklers. Oh, get your ticklers. ticklers. <gasps> yeah, my One of my favorite BDSM toys. It does. It's not even about pain or like anything like that. It's just literally feathers on the end of a stick. And it's fantastic. See, and you guys, there's a bunch of different toys that can help assist with that. Have the discussion. Grab a toy. Have some fun. Yeah. Yes. Maybe so, watch this video with them. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, definitely sit down and watch this video because it can be a really fun thing. It does not have to be intense. It's about the level in which you want to take it and that yeah. control and that pleasure is completely up to you and your partner or partners. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much again. I'm Tani Seren. My name is Delilah. And we'll be back with more. Bye.